Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and here is a bonus video for this week. That's right, I have more than two this week that I'm serving right up. Because I really wanted to talk about a particular issue that was brought up by a specific YouTuber. Uh, his name is Dreamcast Guy. He recently did a video uh, talking about that there are rumors that there's going to be a new Xbox system in 2019. So I kind of wanted to talk about that particular matter, as well as the way that he actually brought that to light. See, the is there a new Xbox system? Well, we don't really know definitively for sure if one's coming out. We can theorize that, yeah, it's probably going to be coming because they always come out with new stuff every time. You know, even after releasing a new system, they're probably already working on the next system. You know, they're working on concepts and everything like that. And they're just going through different phases, prototyping it, and eventually it'll get to where it'll release on store shelves. That can take several years, so it's not a big surprise that if Microsoft's working on a new system, um, that they're doing that because that happens all the time. You know, that's not a big surprise at all. After all, the people that do the research and development, you know, if they aren't doing anything, they're out of a job, so they gotta find something new to do, of course. You know, they gotta, of course, convince corporate to allow them to continue investing in these projects. So. Is there a new Xbox system coming? Most certainly. Uh, the thing that I might have question with, though, is when exactly that is going to happen. Uh, because Dreamcast Guy said in his video that it's going to happen by 2019. Uh, that was their projected release time frame, which means that they're wanting to release a system only two years after just releasing the Xbox One X back in November of 2017, uh, which is just insane to think about, you know, considering that um, the Xbox One X, for one, is already the most powerful console on the market by a pretty wide margin. You know, it is more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro. I mean, you can look at all kinds of different specs. There's tons of games that the One X can run in true 4K, but the Pro only runs in like 1440p, so that's a pretty big difference in power. Um, so, it's really strange to see that they're already thinking about releasing a system just two years from now. But what could that mean exactly? Because a lot of people are calling this the Xbox 2. I think that the traditional way we look at console releases is pretty much dead and over with. Like, I don't see them releasing a completely brand new platform that's going to eschew the previous systems at all. Uh, I think we're in a new era of iterative console designs. Uh, basically, the same way that we look at cell phones. There's new cell phones that come out every year from uh, Samsung and Apple and all those other companies. They always come off new phones every year. I'm filming this on my LG G5, for example. This isn't even the newest phone. They have a G6, and surely enough, they're probably going to release a G7 uh, this year sometime. So, you know, there's always new phones coming out, in. Consoles, I don't think they'll release at quite the same frequency, but they're probably going to start going into an iterative console cycle. Hell, I mean, Microsoft's not the only one that's done it. They've done it twice already this generation, because you also have the One S, which wasn't quite the upgrade that the One X was. It was a really minor upgrade. And then, of course, the uh, PS4 had the uh, PS4 Pro, so you had that, of course. Then we've got Nintendo. Nintendo is no stranger to iter of console designs, at least if you look at the 3DS, because we also had the new 3DS systems. So this is kind of the way of the future for the industry. I don't see there being like complete revamped console generations. So if we got a new Xbox in 2019, 2020, whatever the time frame is, this is what I would expect will happen. Basically, whenever we get that new Xbox system, we'll probably see software support for the original Xbox One as well as the Xbox One S dial back, and it'll probably be done as far as mainstream software support within a year after the release of the new Xbox. We'll start seeing the Xbox One X becoming the new base system. So at that time, I'm sure the One X will probably cost anywhere from two to three hundred dollars on average you know they'll really get a chance to drive the cost down as manufacturing things like that improve so i don't see that being a problem at all you know i see that is what they're going to do 
Um, I don't see them come out with Xbox 2 that the games can't run on anything but that Xbox 2. That wouldn't make sense right away. No, I would see them wanting to support the people that bought the One X at least a few years more. You know, at least another three or four years of software support before they get cut off. They got the Xbox 2.5 or whatever. You know, could... <laughs> Microsoft's naming schemes are just completely stupid, okay? But that's kind of where I see uh, that going on. I, I have no doubt in my mind that that's what's going to happen. Either that or if Microsoft is making new hardware, it may not be in a traditional console sense. We may see something different. We may see like a gaming computer or something like that from them. Or maybe they'll reboot the Surface lineup because you never know. Maybe they'll change into like an Xbox tablet uh, instead of Surface. Uh, maybe we'll see a handheld device of some kind. You know, maybe they'll try to reboot their phone division, except instead of doing Windows, maybe they'll do some kind of Android that has tight integration with Windows, because Windows Phone is more or less dead, and I can see Microsoft doing something like that. Maybe they'll tie the Xbox name into it, so that they can have a software platform that will differentiate itself from other devices, and will certainly be more appealing to gamers. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, of course, is the way these rumors and speculation all started. Dreamcast guy made these speculations on his a video, of course. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to check it out for context reasons, of course. It wasn't a problem that he made speculations because I've personally done that myself. Back in 2015, I did a video having a theory that Nintendo NX is a smartphone, which of course was not true. But don't shit on me for that because some things that I said in that video did turn out to be true, even though it was not a smartphone like the video theorized. But certain things that I theorized about the system did end up being true. So if you want to check that out for context, there's a link in the description for that as well. Uh, but. The problem I had with what Dreamcast guy did and the way he approached this is that he wasn't basically just speculating or giving an educated opinion on what he thought would happen. He was actually basing that there was actual factual information that backed up his reasoning. Uh, essentially, he cited an anonymous source telling him that this system would come out in 2019. Um... Now, I can understand if it was a friend of his in the industry or something like that, that, you know, he probably wouldn't want to get them in trouble and thus wouldn't want to name them. But then again, doesn't that shatter the confidence between the two that he shared that information with the public? Um, maybe this friend wasn't supposed to say anything about this project at all. Um, you know, and so you never know if Microsoft is going to be start looking at their... Uh, you know, development studios wonder what happened with this. Why is this information out in the public? We never want anything announced. It's not ready to be announced yet. So, you know, that's kind of a dangerous precedent right there. As a matter of fact, another YouTuber, Rich of Review Tech USA, kind of had a similar issue back in, I believe it was 2012, 2013, where he apparently shared some kind of information that, uh, wasn't supposed to be, and it turned out that some of the information wasn't actually accurate. And so he kind of got some flack for that, you know. So it's entirely possible that the information that Dreamcast guy shared, while it might be accurate now, may not be later. You never know if the hardware uh, platform could be delayed or even pushed up. Maybe it could come out this year by the end of the year. Very unlikely, but it's possible that this information may not be accurate. And to cite that you have actual sources within the company um, to say that it's accurate is disingenuous um, to not just your audience, but it's disingenuous to anybody that is a member of the gaming community. Uh, if you're a games journalist or if you're a game vlogger or anything like that, you know, it's a disingenuous practice to make such a accusation or claim without any kind of evidence. And it's kind of sad to see that this has spread like wildfire, you know, amongst the gaming community that I'm part of, 
I've seen numerous people talking about this. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of part of the problem since I'm talking about it as well. But I'm doing it to demonstrate a point that this can do real damage uh, to his channel's integrity and credibility. Because if we look at this two years from now and we see that the information that he provided is not actually legitimate, that definitely calls into question being able to trust any kind of information that he gives us in the future. Um, you know, and it's just a problem. I realize the way I see it, you know. But uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that the information he's offered is legitimate? Do you have any kind of concerns or questions about it like I do? Or um, do you just not have an opinion on it? In which case, why would you watch the video, right? <laughs> but uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment. You know, let me know what you think. If you want to share this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out. <laughs> <laughs>